Hi, this video is going to show you how to download Mendeley and create an account with Mendeley. Mendeley is a citation management software that helps you organize your sources and also create in-text citations and bibliographies. To start, we're just actually going to search in Google for Mendeley. You can click the first result here, which will take you to the Mendeley homepage. And now what you need to do is you need to download the Mendeley software. To do that, click the download button on the top of the screen. You'll be taken to this page. This machine is running on Windows, so it's prompting me to download for Windows. If you're using a different uh, operating system, it'll tell you to download for that, for that system. But you can click the download button. When the download is complete, um, you can open the program. It might take a minute to load, but I think it's working. Okay, and then you'll just go through the, the setup process. So I'm going to say this is only for me. Hit install. And again, it may take a minute or two for it to fully install. Once it's done, you can hit Run Mendeley Reference Manager and finish. Okay, now it's opening Mendeley. And now it's going to prompt you to log in. This is where you'll need to make an account. Rather than try to log in here, we're going to go back to where we were and click Create an Account. After clicking create an account, it takes you to this page. It's important that you use your Randolph Macon email. So I'm going to use library at rmc.edu. Yours will be whatever your email address is at go.rmc.edu. Do not use your personal email account. And then here you'll have to provide some information. You'll put your first name and your last name, and then you'll create a password. And you can choose whether or not you want to stay signed in. I'm going to choose to not stay signed in. And I'm going to hit register. I now have an Elsevier account, and you can click continue. And you're in Mendeley. Now that we've downloaded Mendeley to our desktop and created an account, the next thing that we want to do is download the web importer. This will allow you to save references from all over the internet, or most importantly from library databases, directly into Mendeley. So to do that, click Reference Management here at the bottom, and then click Web Importer here at the top. Now it's going to prompt you to download um, the web importer for whatever browser you're using. So I'm currently in Chrome, but if you use a different browser, you should download the web importer for that browser. But click this link here, goes to this page, and then you just hit Add to Chrome, um, and then Add Extension. Okay, and Mendeley Importer has been added to Chrome. Perfect. So now, um, as you'll see later, as you search for references or sources, you'll be able to save them directly into Mendeley. So now, let's go back to the Mendeley desktop. To get back to the desktop version of Mendeley, just click the Mendeley icon, and you're here. Log in using your Randolph Macon email address and then type out the password you just created for the account and hit sign in. Okay, now you're in Mendeley. 
The final thing we want to do is download Mendeley Cite. This is an add-in in Microsoft Word that allows you to create in-text citations and bibliographies directly in Word. Uh, it's very quick and easy and extremely useful. So you want to make sure to do that. Just click Download Mendeley Cite. It takes you to this page. Click Get It Now. It'll take you to one more page and then prompt you to open Word. Click Open in Word. Okay, and now you're in Word. There's some instructions here, but the important thing is if you go to Reference up at the ribbon, ribbon up here, there's Mendeley Cite. Um, I'll show you how to use this in the Using Mendeley video, um, but that's just where it is for now. Okay, so just to recap in this video, we've downloaded Mendeley to our desktop. We've created an online account with Mendeley. We've added the web importer into our browser. And then we've added um, the Mendeley site plugin for Microsoft Word. Um, if you've successfully done all of these things, please move on to the next video using Mendeley, where I'll show you how to tie all of this together. Um, thanks. I hope that you found this video helpful.